Hi, I'm Caitlin Barker, a Year 12 student at the Wayne Grand High School. My name's Rachel Cousins. My name's Jared Egan. Uh, my name's Tom Ferzen. Oh, my name's Eva Chick. I've been doing the TEC program since I was in Year 10 when it first opened. And I'm in Year 10 currently doing Certificate 2 in Equine Education. I'm in Year 12 at the TEC and I'm currently doing Building Construction. I've been in TEC since Year 10. I'm at the Wayne Grand High School TEC studying Engineering and I've just completed a hospitality traineeship. I'm into my second year of hospitality this year. That you don't have to leave school, do hairdressing and then not like it, you can do it while you're still at school. And then now I'm doing health, I'm also doing certificate three in aged care. Uh, it's more open environment, it's better learning because it's mostly hands on work instead of just writing down, copying stuff from the board and teachers saying a lot of stuff. It's been a lot different to um, the other campus, it's been more relaxed and more easy to understand I think. Because there's less students and it's um, more like one-on-one -on -one teaching and they explain it better when there's not so many students. My name is Heather Saru, I'm the principal of Wangaratta High School. Yeah, I'm David Ritchie and I'm the manager of the Wangaratta Technical Education Centre. Yeah, my, my name's John Brown, I'm a member of the Brown family of the wine company in Millerwar that's well known. The school age, a uh, leaving age has now increased to 17 and so they are required to be at school longer and it's giving them a chance to take on more of the things that they really like doing. Often uh, the students will hang out for long for their, their TAFE day when they go and do their vet courses in their hospitality or their hairdressing or their building and construction. They're areas where they're a lot more hands on and they really enjoy those. In 2010 we have 22 courses offering at the Wangaratta TEC. Um, they're the traditional trade courses automotive, building, furnishing, plumbing. But in addition to that, we've got a full range of course in other areas. We've got hospitality, hair and beauty, community services, design fundamentals, and we've got a new course we've started up here in, in partnership with North East Health called Health Services Systems. And in, in addition to that, we've got agricultural based courses that are available to students by uh, flexible delivery. They do a mixture of online and practical placements. We saw the need for a, a technical trade centre in Wangaratta uh, to replace the one-time technical school situation where, because we just could not get enough tradespeople developed for industry now. We have students in years 10 to 12 who have chosen a vocational pathway with a trade orientation and they have chosen at the end of year 9 to go into the TEC to pursue a, a trade or a vocational pathway of some sort. I felt for a very long time that too, too many young people are uh, encouraged to go to the normal VCE academic type course when many of their natural aptitudes are with their hands. Structured work placement is one of the important components we've got here at the Wangaratta TUC. It's a compulsory part of the program that we really believe embeds the students commitment to their, their vocational area. In year 11 and 12 each student does two weeks of work placement each year. To support the successful workplace learning, what we've appointed as a structured workplace learning coordinator, they work with the student, the teacher and the employer to ensure they have a successful real life experience in the workplace. The future of the TEC, um, I, th I think it's uh, terrific that the high school and the, the TAFE College have been able to come to work together and work collaboratively in this scheme. A reference group is keen to see uh, the services offered here to a much wider range of schools so that all the young people in the area have the opportunity of this as well as the VCE courses. I would like to see people in the community valuing the work that is done here, the work that these students achieve, being just as important as, and just as successful as those who pursue a more academic stream and perhaps get an enter score that allows them to study medicine. I believe that some of the students here are just as successful when they complete their Year 12 and they have a Cert 2 or Cert 3 in plumbing and that allows them to go and have a lifelong career in an area of their choice. And uh, I, I can see this being expanded markedly in time when, uh, when the proof of the pudding is seen, when the good young people start to appear in the workplace and they're just beginning to do that now. And I think the, the demand will be, will be great and there'll be more schools wanting to participate in this program. The industry reference group is really looking towards having a, a big output of students here, from here that will service at least all of Victoria and find their way all over Australia. During 2009, with our industry reference group, to develop a way we can in, 
assess national employability skills. We trialled that in 2009 and each of the work placements this year will be asking the employers to assess the students on that. That's something we see as a point of difference for the Wangaratta TUC and really makes the structured workplace a valued thing for the students and their future employment prospects. This is a wonderful facility. If you couldn't get excited about learning a trade here, you'd never get excited. TUC offers this great opportunity. Uh, the tech's really great. I love it. TUC's got good teachers and it's a good fun place to be. The TUC has good facilities. At TUC we get treated more like an adult. Just wrapping a tech, it's pretty sick. Yeah.